Okay, so basically everything is run from these uh, four buttons here. Projects, data tools, plots, and analyses, okay? Okay. Uh, where, are you in the analysis phase or are you in the methodology phase? Uh, still in the methodology phase. My, I'm working on my proposal. I'm pretty close to submitting for um, IRB approval and things like that, and then on to my data collection. Okay. Well, then I'm going to, in that case, I'm going to jump ahead. Do you know what kind of analyses you're going to be conducting? I think so. <laughs> okay. So what, give me your research questions. Um, so my research questions is, oh, it's really just one. It's, um, okay. does a difference exist in critical thinking abilities um, for students using standardized patient simulation with live actors versus yep. human patient simulation at, with mannequins in senior level nursing students? Okay, so you have two you have two groups. Are they doing a pre and a post or just a post? A uh, pre and a post. Okay, got it. So pre and a post. So you have a one between one within ANOVA, correct? I was actually going to use t tests. Um, you don't want to use t tests. There's two ways of going about this. Well, three, but I'll, I'll give you two of them. Okay. okay. If you do t tests, if you do this, you basically have a two groups: control and treatment. Okay. Okay. Or two conditions. Okay. And you have a pre and a post, all right? So the, the correct analysis is the one between one within ANOVA. <clears throat> and the T-tests are the post hoc tests. So the first thing we look at is to say, um, you know, is there an interaction going on here? That is, they kind of start the same at pre, but they differ at post, okay? Okay. All right. If you did the T-test, you would have to do four T-tests which is fine, you would say, are there differences in pre, and you hope there's no differences, okay? Mm -hmm. Are there differences at post, you hope that there are differences, mm -hmm. okay? Then, um, uh, then is there a difference for the one group from pre to post, wow. and is there a difference for the other group from pre to post? So you're doing four T-tests. But the interaction allows you to do that first, okay? Okay. Now, there's another way to do it with just the t-test, and that is by change scores, all right? So what I mean by that is I take the one group and I minus their post minus their pre and get their gain score or change score, okay? And okay. diddle for the other group. Then I can do a t-test to say, hey, is there a difference on those gain scores or change scores? Okay. Got it? Yep. Okay. So... Let's go, let's go through this. So in this thing, I'm going to go to these last two. Under the data plan, under ANOVAs, there's a one between, one within. There's your data plan right there. Okay? You plug in your variables, you plug in your groups, okay? And then you put this in your own voice, and you got references. All right? Wow. Okay. The other... The other way is the t-test, and you're going to be doing independent sample t-tests because you have a gain score for group one, you've got a gain score in group two, they're different from each other. You go to t-test, independent samples, there's the data plan, and you can put that in your own words, okay? Okay. All right. So far, so good? Yep. Okay. Now, let's go to power. Question is, what's the sample size? Again, we go to ANOVAs. Again, we go to one between one within. Okay, 16, 34, or 198, okay? Okay. Try to get away, well, see if you can get 34, you know, 16 per group. This is just unreasonable, okay, for most doc students. Okay. So just use a medium effect size, 34. That's one way to get at it. One between, one within, two groups, two measurements. That's what you got, all right? That is the measurement for each one of them. Let's go to the power analysis for the T-test. Independent sample t test, fifty two one twenty eight seven eighty eight. Hoo hoo. Okay, so even on the, on the low end, large effects are easy to detect. So you need fewer people. Okay. Wow. Um, go, go with the one between one within. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Good. Yeah, I, I have to say, I definitely did not realize that there would be that much of a difference. Yeah, yeah. It's that repeated measures effect that's, that's crucial. Now, let's get to business, okay? Okay. 
under projects, you're going to create a project. Okay. Hit continue. Now you can either enter the data or upload from Excel or CSV or SPSS. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to take, we're just going to take a project. Okay. Here we go. All right. Let's change this sucker. So you get the project, you get your data in. Then we're going to go to edit data just for the heck of it. Okay. Okay. We're going to, we're going to call this, uh, actually we have the condition here. So let's just get rid of this. This would make life easy. Okay, and let's get rid of let's get rid of all these guys. These six the six week follow up. Uh can I just uh let me see if I can just do this. Remove columns. Remove rows. Okay, good. So now we have pre and post with about 37 people. Let's get rid of this. Okay. We good? Yeah. Okay. Now let's just go to analyses. Now let's just go to the ANOVA. Let's go to the one between one within. Okay. Okay. We have our condition. Um, that's our between group. That's the, 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 the the groups, okay, and our within is the pre and post, all right. Um, um, let's do. Uh, I want to do something. L let's just name this groups, okay? Okay. Instead of condition. Okay. So now let's go back to analyses. Let's go to one between one within. Between factor is the group, and a pre to post is our within variable. The same people taking pre to post. Good? Okay. We hit calculate. Now, what this does is it preloads the assumptions of that test. Okay? And the, the, for normality, we're using the QQ scatter plot. To see if that's normal, you simply scroll over it, and you can say, well, it kind of looks like it's heavy tailed. It may not be normal, okay? All right? Okay. We have other um, assumptions, homoscedasticity. Again, you can scroll over to see, eh, maybe it's not the best, okay? Okay. Outliers, vericity is not relevant here. Now, the main effect, so, so the when we do the ANOVA, it actually runs three ANOVAs, okay? Okay. One is the interaction. Do these things seem to be diverging or crossing like an X? That's one. That's one ANOVA. Another ANOVA is it's called a main effect, okay, by group, all right? What that means is does the average of this control group differ from the average of this treatment group, all right? Okay. All right. And to see if there's a difference, Okay. The other main effect is, is there, these guys average together. Is the pre different than the post together, all right? Mm -hmm. But the interaction is the key thing here. And in our situation, this is what we have, okay? That post group started, excuse me. Um, I, I didn't do this right. Let me, let me just do this. Uh, it's not pre, post. It's a treatment and control. Sorry. Let me just do this. Um, okay. Go back. See, with this thing, you could make lots of mistakes and just do it very quickly. All right? Oh. We're going to go back. One between one with that. Pre post. Group. Okay. Here are our assumptions again. All right? And here's our group levels. Okay? So, 
the main effect for group, that is the one group, their pre and post versus the other group pre versus post was not different. Okay. Mm -hmm. The interaction of the within factors was not significant. Indicating values for pre, post, and levels of group. Okay. Here are the results. So here's the three and overs right here. Between groups, there was no difference. The within factor, it was almost different. And then this is the interaction group by the within. All right. Then here's the means and standard deviations for the pre and post by each of the two groups. There's our diagram. And then the post hoc tests. So we so the postdoc is basically your t tests, okay? Okay. To examine the main within, one way of repeated measures the NOVA, which is basically a t test, was calculated for pre to post, no differences. Between groups, to examine main effect between group, NOVA was calculated. The mean value of group one, 28, was significantly higher than group two was significantly less than group two at 33. So this averages 28, this guy averaged 33, okay? okay? To examine the within effect, individual repeated measures was calculated. So this is the one to examine uh, within effect, um, repeated measures was calculated for each group, no significant differences. And then between the subject, to examine the between subject effect, individual so let's just let's just mess up the data a little bit so we we have something here okay so let's move this guy at pre group two pre let's have that move down closer to 28 so group two pre group two so let's edit data and let's have that be closer to 28 okay. Okay. All right. So now let's go back. Let's get rid of this guy. Delete. Let's do the one between. We have group, pre post. Hit calculate. Let's scroll down. This is kind of what we want to see. They're about equal in the beginning, but that one group does better. Okay? Okay. So here you can see we have significant yeah. interaction, and the within is uh, significant, which means um, that together these two differ from these two. Okay? Okay. So that average. So basically... Let me, let me, I'll do it better here. The between group effect looks to see if that 28 differs from the 30, okay? Between groups. Okay. The within group looks to see if the 27 differs from the 32, and it does, okay? Okay. The interaction is what's happening here. Okay. That is, is there a difference between groups over time? All right. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. So here's the, so, so again, so those are the three NOVA results. And this is between group, oops, this guy, this guy, within group, pre to post, averaging these guys. So these are the averages, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Good. This is the within, and then the interaction is differences between groups over time. So here, very simply, the main within effect, the mean value of pre was significantly less than the post. All right, and there's the mean. But that's not really important to you. And the between, the main effect between isn't really important either, because these people may have started higher. 
What's really crucial is the interactions, okay? Mm -hmm. For group two, category group, the mean value at pre was significantly less than a post. So the mean value at pre was different than a post, was less than post. What that says is out of all of these analyses, the big difference is here. This guy in group two got much higher scores. Okay? Uh, yep. That's it. That's it. We hit download document. All right. I'm going to move it up over here. This is the document you get. By the way, this is what you get with SPSS. Okay? Good luck. Just FYI. Okay? This is what you get. Okay? You get a glossary of the terms and symbols for that test. Raw output just because people are used to it. Then the editable document. Okay? You get rid of all of this. Now you can start putting this in your own language. All your graphs, your APA style tables, your figure, and APA references to boot. Wow.